I want to be a video game designer because it's fun to make games. I want to help people when they're sick. When I'm older, my house is going to have lots of computers, a pool with mango trees, a swing set, It'll be two story, an upstairs house, will be huge, with a big screen TV, and a computer. My house is going to be the Prime Minister's house, and a spa. Around the world, they call Australia the lucky country. But is it lucky for everyone? It's harder for young people to find work now than at any time in the past 30 years. The youth unemployment rate has jumped to 12.5%, more than double the national figure. So are we creating a lost generation of workers who will never enjoy a career and the life that comes with it? Does there need to be a national strategy to try and tackle this issue? They call Australia a lucky country, but in fact it's unlucky for a very important group of people, and that's young people. Young people who live in the rural sector, indigenous young people, disabled young people. The unemployment rates are generally about 12%, but can go up to 40 or 50%. Trying to get a job as a young person is, it's extremely daunting. Young people are facing a severely insecure um, job market. We have the gig economy, which means that um, our hours are irregular, our wages are insecure. Employment needs to be designed for the most vulnerable so that all young people have an equal opportunity for employment. The community is going to need to come together um, because employment acts across a range of policy areas. We've had stagnant wage growth for decades and decades, so the money that um, young people are, um, are getting for the jobs we're doing is significantly lower. Our education um, is not adequately funded, so uh, the NAPLIN results in literacy and numeracy are going down, which means young people, um, the future Australians, um, are going to be less likely to have opportunities that we um, or the generations before us had. The entire structure of the classroom, the classroom structure doesn't really work for everyone. And in high school I was struggling a lot and I didn't get very much support from the school that I was at and as a result I dropped out at the age of 14. People don't know how to teach everyone. You can teach 85% of people and that other percent, you know, kind of get pushed to the side. Now we've got to do something about this and we know what to do because previously we've had a National Youth Homelessness Commission that put the answers and took the answers from the Australian community itself. In 2008, the release of the National Youth Commission report alongside the film Oasis had a major impact in raising awareness and tackling the issue of youth homelessness within Australia. That's another night at Oasis. Australia isn't the lucky country for every kid. Almost 30 years ago, when I had the privilege to be the Federal Human Rights Commissioner in Australia, I conducted a national inquiry on what was happening to many of our marginalised young people. And what we discovered was truly disturbing. Many of our families were in crisis. Uh, many of these young people, a very large number of these young people, were coming, coming from homes that were uh, disintegrating or had disintegrated. And our society was failing to respond in a way that gave them an opportunity to feel valued to make a contribution. We need a national commission into youth disadvantage, looking at every aspect of it, at early school leaving, at leaving home far too young, at being unemployed. The National Youth Commission, I think it's a very, very valuable way of looking again at where we are as a society, what we can do, to address these issues for so many thousands, not just thousands, tens of thousands of our young people. And I can say that because I've kept in touch with these issues quite closely over the years. What we can do to ensure that they become meaningful, productive and valued members of our community. The National Youth Commission is a grassroots movement and needs community support. Um, you can join the Commission to make sure young voices are being heard by those in power. Young people are going to be front and centre in the NYC. After all, it's our future, it's our education, it's our workforce. We know the issues um, and we're going to be driving um, the plan forward. This is our society. These are our children. 
This is not a partisan political issue. This is our responsibility, all of us, all sides of politics, all members of our community, the business sector, the philanthropic sector, all of those of us who really must work together to ensure that these young people have the opportunities that they deserve.